Welcome to another video in Spam Timber. That's right. And this time we're going to use Spam to make a hearty soup. And it is really, really good and can be made from just staples in your pantry. Now, it features this package of 15 bean soup. It is the Hearst Ham Bean Blend. And I have to admit, there's a little bit of a falsehood here. It doesn't have 15 beans. It has 15 legumes. Let me read it to you a minute. It's very small print. So we have northern bean, pinto bean, large lima bean, yellow eye bean, garbanzo bean, baby lima bean, green split pea, mm, not a bean, kidney beans, cranberry beans, small white beans, pink beans, and small red beans, yellow split pea, again, not a bean, lentil, again, legume, not a bean, navy beans, white kidney beans, and black beans. But boy, I love making soup from this. You know how I usually do this is my favorite is to have, you know, if you've had a honey baked ham and you have the leftover bone and it has all that meat on it, it makes such a great bean soup with this. But today we're going to use a different meat. That's right, it's going to be Spam. And I'm using hickory Spam. Now, the neat thing about this recipe is, well, number one, it's a soup. And you know what? You can make a soup however you want to make it. Depends on what you have in your pantry. But I wanted to show you how you could actually make it with dehydrated items. Um, we're using dehydrated onion flakes, dehydrated celery, dehydrated diced carrots, and even dehydrated diced tomatoes. And these are all from Harmony House, a great place to get dehydrated food if you don't make your own. They had sent me a packet at Christmas time last year. And of course, I do a lot of my own dehydrating. But if you don't, you can check them out. And no, I'm not getting anything for um, giving them a little commercial. I just think they're a good company. But maybe you don't have that. You can use some of your home canned tomatoes. Or maybe some of your diced canned tomatoes, which in this case, diced tomatoes and green chilies might give it a really interesting flavor. Maybe you don't have this 15 bean package. Maybe you have your own beans like I do. Or maybe you have canned beans. I mean, there's a lot of different things that you can do to make this soup. So for the recipe below, I'll tell you different ways to make it depending if you're using canned goods or you're using dehydrated goods. But any way you make it, it tastes fabulous. Now this video is in collaboration with Rogue Preparedness and Jenny Go. Morgan from Rogue Preparedness will have her videos on Wednesday all through September and Jenny will have hers on Friday and mine are on Monday. I hope you watch every single one because, yep, you know what this is? It's a Spam cutter or a luncheon meat cutter anyway, or cheese. It comes in really handy. So what I'm doing is at the end of September, I'm just randomly picking a comment on one of the Monday, Wednesday, or Friday videos, and that person, I will send the Spam cutter. So you, or you being if you're the winner, can have your very own Spam Cutter. Yep. So I'm using some Hickory Smoke Spam. I thought that would give it a nice flavor. Handy dandy am slicer. There we go. Okay. Now we do it the other. 
other way. Okay, now I'm lifting it off. Okay, and then we just go the other way. See how we have nice little bits? Be back when this is done. Be sure you take out your ham flavor packet here. Means out. Now what you're doing here, trying to make sure you don't have any stones or any gravel, anything that could affect your beans. Then you want them clean. So clean them well. Now add your beans to the pot. Get out all those little ones, probably lentils. Up spam. So we're going to add about four and a half tablespoons. Harmony House here diced carrots and we're adding one fourth cup a one third cup diced celery and just a little garlic and then we're going to add three two ounces here of this chicken broth add more because I like it brothy and we got a lot of dehydrated stuff in here. Uh, yeah, maybe about 12 cups. If you don't like it as brothy, don't add as much. Now we're just going to put the top on. Remember how I said I like broth? Well, there sure isn't much left here after seven hours. So, I'm going to pour in some more broth. Mm, I think we could use a little more. This is the problem, making it before I go to work and Obviously, if I was home, I would have been keeping an eye on it better. Maybe just a little more. Okay, because it's not done yet. I'm going to put in the flavor packet. Well, if I tear it right. There we go. Gives it the ham flavor. Instead of just the spam flavor, right? that up. Now we're going to use some of this dehydrated diced tomato. Maybe about uh, three-fourths a cup. Just put that in. Mix it up well. I want it just a little more because what's happened is that dehydrated contents takes up more than you think. And so we're putting in more 
dehydrated goods, in this case tomato, is going to take up more of the broth. Smelling like ham. So let's put our top back on. And now we're going to leave it in there and high for another, oh, maybe another hour. We'll be back and we'll see. Just want to taste just a little bit of the broth, see if we need any spices or anything. Tastes good, just the way it is. Here it is. I have to admit, I cheated. I already had some, I took a bite. It's so good. Mm. Melt in your mouth the beans and the broth tastes really rich. That packet adds a nice ham flavor. And my husband said, um, is this pork? I mean, what's the meat in it? Well, yes, it is pork. It's Spam. Um, but you can taste the Spam a bit, but it's not like it overtakes the dish. It really, really is good together. Um, my husband thought maybe just a little less tomatoes next time. I'm not used to using the dehydrated tomatoes, so maybe it was a little heavy on the tomato taste, but this is good and so easy. Now, I did not use low sodium chicken broth, and I probably should have, because for some people it may be on the salty side. For my husband it was just right, because he always adds salt to everything. Spam and 15 bean soup, it is a real winner. It's so easy, I put everything together before I went to work, come home, just add those tomatoes in the little packet of ham flavoring and it I mean, it's just so so good so I hope you try in September oh excuse me in spam timber spam and 15 bean soup you'll love it <laughs>